What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with one of the coolest teams that I've used in a while. We are rocking out with a Gengar team that features Kyogre, Rayquaza, and my boy Hitmontop. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. It really just go a long way. So I give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. But something that I wanted to go over before we actually get started with today's team preview is how I miss a couple day days of upload. You guys know your boy always likes to daily upload, keep bringing you guys that content. And I missed, I think it was two days of content. I got a bunch of comments saying, yo, Jeans, you done daily uploading? What's going on here? Blah, blah, blah. I was actually out of town for a little bit. So that is the reason why. But yo, daily uploads are not going anywhere. But it is on my part. I should actually let you guys know. Maybe in like a community post or even a Twitter post. that let you guys know that I will be out of town and we will be missing uploads. So that one's on me. I apologize for that. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything, follow my Twitter, all that good stuff. We'll post updates on my channel on what I'm doing. And if I'm going to miss an upload, I will post it over there. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with my boy Kai Ogre in that top left corner. Lovely little Pokemon. Great restricted mod. We got Drizzle, Long Talk to Life Orb, and then we got Water Spout, Ice Beam, Origin pulse and protect we're gonna be dynamax this pokemon a lot so i feel like he's gonna be very very strong in that form bonsong is gonna be our second pokemon nice little support mon he could set the trick room at the same time we got levitate leftover safeguard trick room body press and iron defense really likes pokemon you can bulk up you can protect our pokemon from status conditions like sleep powders and all that with the safeguards and then like i said trick room could totally take speed control for us Middle left is going to be Rayquaza if you were here. With Airlock to protect us from weather, Focus Sash so it can't get one tap, Dragon Ascent, Extreme Speed for first time priority, Swords Dance to set up, and last but not least, we're Rock and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on squad is my boy Hitmontop. I absolutely love this Pokemon and this Pokemon's animation. It does like a little strut thing when he's in his uh when he's in battle, and it's just hilarious. We got Intimidate, Eject Button, Close Combat, Fake Out, Sucker Punch, and Wide Guard. Really do like this moveset. You can hit hard with the Close Combat. You can flinch out with the Fake Out. Sucker Punch has that first turn priority, and Wide Guard can definitely come up clutch in certain situations. Bottom left hand corner is the whole reason I picked this team. The one and only Gengar, a lot of people's favorite Pokemon of all time. We got Cursed Body alongside with the Choice Scarf, Icy Wind for Speed Control, Shadow Ball for Big Stab Damage, Energy Ball for Coverage, and then we got Confused Ray. If, we, if we're feeling a little lucky and a little risky, we might throw some Confused Rays out there because, you know, that could definitely come up clutch. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Raichu over here with that Lightning Rod, that Assault Vest, Nuzzle, Bolt Switch, Fake Out, and Thunder. Cannot go wrong with that Pokemon. Really like them all around. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Kyogre, Rayquaza, and Gengar team. Something that I forgot to mention in the team preview is the creator of this team. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Neil VGC. He's another YouTuber who does Pokemon content for creating this team. I'll be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. Definitely go check him out. Show him some jeans love. But we're hopping into our first battle here. Going up against a very strong heavy meta Zacian and Groudon team. With Charizard, Incineroar, Storm Drain, Gaston, and Grimstone. So he's probably going to bring Storm Drain, Gaston. We definitely want to watch out for that. And I still want to bring Kyogre at the same time. So it could actually lead Gengar. Gengar could be solid. We could also go in with the Raichu just for nuzzles. A little bit of speed control action there. And Fake Out is pretty solid here as well. So do I go Raichu? Raichu could be nice. Gengar's not too shabby here too. But like... The Groudon, really scary. Definitely really scary. I could go into a Trick Room, because Trick Room could be very beneficial to us, considering we have a lot of Pokemon that are a lot slower. Uh, let me see your speed real quick. Let me see your speed. 161. Well, meh. I think we're going to lead the Groudon. Or the Kyogre. Could definitely lead the Kyogre, and just change up and go in with Ice. Because Ice works pretty well here, up against a lot of these Pokemon, so... You know what? We're going to rock into Kyogre. We are going to rock into Kyogre turn 1, alongside with Hitmon Top. Hitmon Top could be nice. We get that Intimidate off turn 1, too, especially if he wants to lead the Groudon. Uh, Gengar, dude, I really want to go Gengar. I don't want to lead. Let's go Hitmon top. Let's go Rayquaza. And let's go Gengar in the back end. I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in bound number one. But this one's going to be tough for us. It's definitely going to be tough. I feel like I should just Dynamax uh, Kyogre right off the rip. Because he's probably going to be our Dynamax Pokemon. But it, again, it really depends who he leads. It really depends who he leads. Because he could lead the Groudon. I, it really don't matter. I kind of just want to go into an Ice move. Because I do predict him swapping into Storm Drain Gashdown. Because that is definitely a Pokemon he's going to be bringing in here. But let's see who he leads. Let's just see who he leads. Incineroar. Charizard and Groudon is going to come out of here. So hopefully Kyogre is a little slower. But probably not. Probably not. And my top's going to fly out here. Um, I definitely want to drop some ice. I definitely would love to drop some ice. Drought's going to come out here. And cool. Drizzle is going to take control here. Drizzle is going to take control. Which is huge. Which is absolutely huge. So we take off his weather effects right off the rip. I think he's probably not going to Dynamax Charizard. I think I might fake out the Charizard at this point. I think I might fake out the Charizard at this point. Or I could double down into the Charizard. I really don't want to go for a water move. I feel like I have to stick with the ice move, right? I feel like I have to stick with the ice move. Hailstorm into Charizard or... 
I feel like I'm really not worried about that uh that out on too much as it's minus one plus I'm just gonna fake it out actually I might I might double down the Charizard I think he's gonna swap the, the ground on here right I think he's gonna swap the ground so you know I'm gonna double down the Charizard I don't see him Dynamax and Charizard without a without that heat right see what he does he do we win we win we win <laughs> Did we just win a battle without doing anything? That's a first for me. We take that all day. We're starting off 1-0. Our lead was just so much better than him. We took weather control, and I'm guessing he didn't have Storm Drain Gash done because he probably just thought I was just going to water spell. Pick up the easy double kill and roll out from there, but we're hopping into our second battle. Going up against a really cool team. Look at this. Polisand, Snorlax, Toxapec, who is a beast in singles, Meowstic, Acelgore, and Ludicolo over here. All right, how am I doing this? How am I playing this one? I could nuzzle up. Nuzzle's looking pretty good. Just a bunch of speed control here, or I could lead in with the Gengar. Gengar's not too shabby, but I feel like Kyogre's just an absolute muscle lead here. We got to watch out for that uh, Polisand because it probably has water compaction, which is an ability that boosts its speed, I believe. Is it speed? It boosts something. It boosts something. I think it's its speed every time it gets hit with a water move, right? Or defense something. It does something. It boosts one of its stats, so I got to watch out for that. Uh, second Pokemon I want to go into could be... Uh, I think him on top or Raichu. Raichu isn't too bad because I feel like Nuzzles and all that will be powerful for us. And I really do like that. Then I'm just going to bring Gengar and Rayquaza. Gengar and Rayquaza. I really do like that. I really do like that. But I can't believe we won that last battle. Just by leading. We just had a better lead than him. And then this guy's like, nah, I'm done, yo. I ain't, I ain't doing this. That, that guy definitely had a rough day. Definitely had a rough day. But uh, I didn't ask you guys question of the day in battle number one. That is, would double uploads be too much? Because I'm playing on when Super Mario Strikers comes out. I'm playing on doing a Nuzlocke. Super Mario Strikers content alongside with the still my pokemon content like you guys normally like but i'm thinking of just like uploading strikers and, Nuz and nuzlocke videos as double uploads like constantly be uploading my pokemon content but then on the side bring you guys some strikers bring you guys some nuzlocks it wouldn't be like an everyday double upload but let me know in the comment section down below if that would be too much he's gonna end up leading me out sick alongside oh shiny me out alongside with ludicolo which i'm totally fine with uh i can fake out turn one if i want to but i feel like just dynamaxing right oh that grass move is looking scary i don't know if i should dynamax should i save it should I save it? I might protect this turn. I think it's definitely Swift Swim. I'm not even going to fake out. I'm just going to go for this Nuzzle. Even though he has two fake out Pokemon. He might Dynamax to Ludicolo. He does not. He does not Dynamax to Ludicolo. Ludicolo does not get the Dynamax. He's going to go for a fake out. He's going to fake out my Raichu. Wow, dude. I could have dropped. I could have did some work here. And what was Miasa going for? Trick Room. That's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Ludicolo Swift Swim, isn't he? I think I still Dynamax here. What's your speed chilling at? What's your speed chilling at? Kyogre. What's your speed? Because I'll Dynamax you right here, right now. I'll Dynamax you 113. I like it. I dig it. I'll Dynamax you right here, right now. I'll do it. Let's run it. Hailstorm gonna drop in here. I'm gonna switch up this weather. And then I think I might just full switch out. Or I could Thunder. If I full switch out and just have my fake out for later turns, I think I think uh, switching out could be a good turn. Yeah, let's full switch out and uh, I'll double down the Ludicolo. Try to make sure this thing goes out. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. He's gonna withdraw the Meow Stick. Who are you going into? Toxapec. God dang Toxapec. This Pokemon's mad annoying, dude. This Pokemon's mad annoying, but it's so sick. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love me some Toxapec. But we're gonna Dynamax the, the Ogre. We're gonna we're gonna uh, go after Sludicolo here. Try to get rid of that. Try to get rid of that little booger. That little booger right there. That little boogie. Can't stand. Can't stand. Little Toxapec. Especially in singles, you know, like singles, I used to do singles before doubles. And singles is a it's a lot of fun for when you start off because you start to learn like the like how, how the game works but dude toxic spec is the most annoying pokemon ever it's legit like set up a toxic spikes or like go into toxics and just like protect spiky shield all that good stuff recover hp and toxic spec it's just ggs he was op in singles singles is a lot of hard swapping out that's why i like doubles a lot more i feel like it's uh, just a lot more strategy there's a lot more like different things you could do in doubles and use a bunch of different pokemon because singles is just like if you're not using like certain pokemon you're just getting absolutely ripped into we're gonna drop a hailstorm he dynamax is literally cold how much damage are we gonna do to this thing not too bad there. I, I'll take that damage all day. We'll take that damage all day. We change up the weather, which actually benefits him just a little bit. But that's totally fine. He's probably going to go for a grass move, and hopefully we can soak it up. Oh, he's going to go for... Okay, he's switching back to weather. He's going to go for a geyser. My Raichu. Can you eat that up, Raichu? Yes, sir. Good thing we changed up the weather. I like it all day. I like it all day. If we didn't change up the weather, I think Raichu dies there. I'll take that all day. So we're going to be able to drop this Volt Switch. We're going to pivot out here. Deal a little bit of damage. I like it. I like it a lot. And I think we double down Ludicolo again. Extreme speed into a Hailstorm could take it out. Hmm. What is my play? Or I can go to Gengar. But I kind of want to save Gengar for like the back end, right? 
I think Gengar is more of like a back end Pokemon when Trick Room's gone. So, you know, I'm just going to swap into you. And again, I think I just double down Ludicolo here. I think we can just double down into him. Get that extreme speed. We know Kyogre is a bit slower. The Tox Specs is scaring a little bit, but still, Hailstorm into extreme speed. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. Because we got to get rid of this Ludicolo. You gotta get rid of this Lily Cole. So Extreme Speed pokes out here. Chip it up some damage. Hailstorm should go after this. And there's a Toxic spec with it. We don't like that. We don't like that. He poisons me with a Toxic. Very, very annoying. But how come this thing goes first? What is going on here? Why is that thing... Wait, 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 wait. We are Focus Ash, but we're dead anyway. But I'm, I'm a little confused to why my Kyogre went first last turn. Now this thing goes first. What's up with that? What, what, what happened? What, what, what changed? What changed? What changed? I'm confused to what has changed. I'm super confused to what has changed. Or did I just like not look at a turn quick enough? No, I'm pretty sure my Kyogre went first last turn. What changed? What has changed? It must be a speed tie. It must be a speed tie. It must be a speed tie. That's crazy. It must be an exact tie. That's wild. That is wild. But my, uh, oh, I have airlock. So my request does live. That's huge. The Rayquaza is going to live. He's going to pose a little bit of, bit of a threat. And from here, uh, I think I just Geyser. I think I just get off some stab damage here. Right over into Meowstic. He's probably going to fake me out or something. I could protect. It's probably going to be my turn. Yeah, I'm going to protect just in case he wants to fake me out. I'm going to roll from there. Because Toxpec has a chance of protecting here. He might just go for a Toxic again. He's just going to be there, sitting there, all annoying. The Let's see what he does. So I'm just going to protect my Rayquaza. I'm going to try to get off some uh, more heavy-hitting turns on my Kyogre. And waste out this Trick Room. Yep, there's the fake out. Good block by Jeans. Good block by Jeans. Keep my Rick in the battle for a little bit. And he's just going to recover Toxpec. That's totally fine. That's just a huge waste of turn. And you give this guy props for using a really cool team. He's put up a big fight too. But we're going to drop this Geyser here. Chip up some damage and bring this thing down to one. So now I can Extreme Speed. Take out Meowstic if I wanted to. And uh, I guess just Hailstorm into? No, that was my last turn. That's my last turn. I think we should get Extreme Speed and drop a nice little Origin Pulse. But we're just trying to waste out these Trick Room turns, you know? As much as Trick Room's gone, I have this lovely... Baichu and a lovely Gengar in the back end, which is huge, which is enormous, enormous. But from here, uh, do I just Origin Pulse? Origin Pulse or Ice Beam? I think Origin Pulse would be a bit better for us, just because it's raining. And then we could just go into a nice little extreme speed. Take out Meowstic, because I doubt Meowstic Shock and Protect, right? Might swap, might save itself for another turn, but we do have Fake Out Raider Roll, but Toxic is just, oh, dude, it's doing me so dirty do me so dirty but what i'm gonna do is kind of just like focus down on the the right slot and just wait for toxic peck to be like the final pokemon because i have a i have an energy ball and i have a right in the back end which is gonna be really good we're just gonna pop an ally switch what a play what a play but i, th I still think we take out meowstic here with an orange pulse which is, which is lovely the extreme speed is gonna poke out here we just need to get rid of meowstic that's all we really need and skull's gonna come out here are you gonna take out my rayquaza he's gonna take out my rayquaza that's all good rayquaza was just doomed from the beginning he was just there from with using extreme speeds he's fine he did he did his work Origin Pulse is going to fly. Does it connect? It does. Beautiful. So we get rid of Meowstic. We're going to chip up some damage on Toxpec. And I think uh, Trick Room Turns might end, right? That's solid. If Trick Room Turns can end, whew. If Trick Room Turns can end, that could be huge. I, I think we just bring out Raichu right off the rip here, right? We just bring out Raichu. Show me Trick Room ends. Show me Trick Room ends. Show me Trick Room ends. My Toxic's doing work on me. Look how much damage I just did. Yes, okay. Trick Room's gone. The Trick Room is now gone. I think going into Raichu is definitely a play. I'm gonna swap into Raichu. I might fake out the Toxpec just so I can't do anything, you know? So I can't do anything. He's gonna bring out Snorax. That's huge. He's gonna bring out Snorax. Who do I. I gotta fake out somebody, right? I gotta fake out the Toxpec, right? Go into an Origin Pulse. That's my play all day. Fake out, and then go into this Origin Pulse. I really do like where we're sitting. We still have the Gengar in the back. The lovely little Gengar. We should be thriving here. And if Toxpec protects, he protects. I'll still get uh, a turn off with my boy. Okay, cool. He's not gonna protect. We're gonna fake out. So you guys can come out here. Origin Pulse is gonna go next. Can it connect? It's going to connect. Beautiful. So as long as he doesn't. No, I think I think we're I think we're thriving here. The Snorlax can't pick up a double kill, right? And my oh my god, we just ripped. We just ripped. We just ripped into that Snorlax. God dang, Kyogre, you are OP. You are so strong. You are so strong. We're gonna take some life orb damage and watch how much this toxic damage does to us. This might KO us. Watch how much damage this toxic does to us. We're at 82. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. 48 HP? God dang. The next one, it does more and more every single time. But this guy's probably just going to cancel battle. I'm going to drop 100% hitting Thunder. And that's going to be 2-0 for today's video. That is lovely. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous.
we just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video, going up against a really strong team. Shadow Rider Calyrex, Soul Galio combo with Storm Drain Gastron, which kind of counters my Kyogre. Then he has Sableye, Rillaboom, and Incineroar. Do we even bring the Kyogre? Do we even bring that Kyogre? Because that thing's a pain. He has Rillaboom and he has Gastrodon. Oh my god, that's ugly. That's real ugly. That is real ugly. But how should we go into this one? How should we lead it? This one's going to be so tough for us. So tough for us. I could pop a Trick Room. Trick Room isn't looking bad for us. But then he has the Soul Gale. It's just like, oh, it's tough. Uh, I'm going to lead the Kyogre. I'm going to get rolling with the Kyogre. Uh, but bring the Raichu turn one too. Raichu could be good at turn one here as well. You know what? I'm going to lead Kyogre them too. I'm going to go Gengar and, and Rayquaza and Ray Ray, dude. I'm going to go same squad as last time. I really do like this team. I really do like this squad. So, you know what? I'm going to lead it. We're going to get rocking out with that. Oh, what should I bring him on top instead? Him on top's looking real good over Raichu. I really do like that. I really do like that. And now I got to cancel out every single Pokemon, get Hitmon top. All right, there we go. Now Gengar and Rayquaza. Beautiful. Well, the reason I want to bring Hitmon top is going to be because A, it has Sucker Punch for that Shadow Rider Kyrax, and B, it has to Intimidate for that Roll Boom in case he wants to lead it, and onto that Instant War. So it's solid. It's, it just works well all around. It just works beautifully all around. Great all around. Yeah, I would definitely want to get Gengar in this battle. I was planning on having him just roll in the back and picking up the KOs at the end there, but didn't need him. Didn't need him. But definitely want to get him thrown in here in battle number three. Definitely want to rock out with him in battle number three. But he's going to end up leading the Calyrex alongside with uh, Sableye, which is totally fine by me. Which is totally fine. Because from here, you know, I could just drop a Sucker Punch and I could protect. I think I'm just going to Sucker Punch protect, right? Sucker Punch protect is looking real nice. Where do I Dynamax? Drop a hailstorm onto that. Or I could just wide guard. Ooh, I could wide guard. Ooh, I, could. I could wide guard and just keep this rolling like this. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I do have sucker punch, but yo, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show that I have sucker punch yet. I'm just gonna go right into this wide guard. See if I might fake me out, which could be scary, but we'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. But we're gonna dynamax, we're gonna roll with this. We're gonna, we gonna try to get after it. We're gonna try to get after it because Wide Guard could be so good. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Wide Guard is one of those moves that could be like one of the clutchest moves ever because a lot of people forget about it. A lot of people aren't expecting it. And it's just it's just, it's just a mind game. Wide Guard is a mind game. Let's see how this one plays out here. Is he gonna fake me out? No, he does not. We're gonna set up a Wide Guard. Beautiful. So we're gonna guard, try to block this double shot. Or hopefully he's going into the Ash Brush. Trick. He's gonna trick me. He's gonna take my orb. What are you giving me? What item are you giving me? A Jack Button. He goes for Astro Blast. So we have a Jack button, but, but, but we wide guard it. So we're still in this battle. So we might be able to get off two turns here. If it's Focus Sash, we're going to have to Sucker Punch an next turn and roll from there. Let's see how this one plays. There's that. And it is Focus Sash. It is Focus Sash. Okay. I see you. I understand. I understand, but we're not allowing it to get off any more turns. So we're going to go here. I'm gonna drop a geyser and I'm just gonna go for a sucker punch. Cause again, I cannot allow this Pokemon to touch my Kyogre. Leave my Kyogre alone. Leave my Kyogre alone. Just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. But why guard huge turn one? This thing really tricked me, though. That was a power move. That was a power move. Great move by him. Getting started off strong. If I did not have wide guard, he would have ate me up. Sucker Punch comes through. We're going to say bye-bye to Calyrex. Get him on out of here. So we're starting off pretty strong. If my Kyogre can get off one more turn, I would not mind it. I would not mind it at all. If he can go next, that would be beautiful. Does it go next? It does not. He's always going to quash me. It does go next. It does. So he's looking for the quash action. We're going to geyser. And we're going to take this thing out. Beautiful turn Huge turns for us. Huge turns for us. He took my life for it, but it's all good. We're still ripping with damage. We're going to have a Jack Button ready to roll. And the Jack Button's going to be pretty solid for us because then I can swap into my Gengar, get my Chewy Scarf rolling, and get off some big damage. I love it. I love it. I love it. Who's he going to throw out here? So, Galio. Yep. And is, did he bring Roboom or Gastro? No way he brought Gastro. He brought Roboom. So, Roboom's going to come out here. Uh, what's our plan here? I mean, he can glide. I can eat up a glide really easily. And I think I'm just going to take out the Roboom here. I mean, if he glides, no, if he glides, I'm just going to, uh, I mean, I don't mind a jack it out here. I do not mind that. Uh, I could go into Sucker Punch, but I, again, I do not really want to proc policy. So I think I'm just going to fake out and start dropping defense. I think I'm just going to start chipping up damage here. It's going to be my play. Because again, he's, he's going to Grace God 100%. Unless he's reading my Protect. Unless he's reading my Protect. But I was going to, I was going to Protect, but I was just like, dude, I really want to swap this Pokemon and get out my, uh, get out my Gar. I really want to get out of my guard. So, so is going to get the Dynamax. He's obviously going to probably go for the Grass Guide into my Kyogre, which Kyogre should be able to eat. And then get swapped into next turn, which is huge. 
So I don't really mind it. This is still going to be a very close battle, but we had a solid first turn. Solid first turn. Legalio is an absolute beast here. Kind of scaring me. We might have to drop some protects to kind of roll off from there. But we'll just see how this one plays out here. Grey Sky does come through here. And that's going to deal a huge amount of damage. So it does a big amount of damage. A check button's going to poke here. And I, I got to go in the Gengar, right? I got to go in the Gar. I'm liking the Gar. Where do I go into Ray Ray? Ray Ray could be nice with the Focus Ash. Just waste out turns. But again, I really want to go in the Gengar. Gengar can do some work. He can do some work. Hmm. He's got to be going into him on top. There's no way he'd double down into the slot, right? There's no way he doubles down into the Gengar slot. I just don't see it happening, right? I feel like he's going for like a steel spike and hit him on top. Go and hit him on top, please. He's going to go into Quake. Please be in the hit on top. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So hit on top is able to eat. He's going to get off of close combat, which is huge. And now I, I have the choice to either go into a Shadow Ball and the Solgaleo and deal some big damage, or I could take out the uh, Rillaboom. Or I could take out the Rillaboom. Oh, I have my own eject button. <laughs> I have my own eject button. And you know what? I'm going to go back into Kyogre because I just want to pose a threat and just protect this turn. Actually, do I even protect? I don't even know if I protect here. I don't even know if I protect. I got Shadow Ball Raider Roll. And I think I have to send it this way. And you know what? I'm just going to stay in with Kyogre. How many turns left in Trick Room? Did, did, wait, did he pop a Trick Room? I don't think he did. No, there is no Trick Room. Why would I, why'd I keep saying there was Trick Room? I had to waste out the Dynamax turns. Hmm. Now, is he going to read my Protect? That's the problem. If he reads my Protect, it's just an awful turn, so... I feel like we're safe with going into this. He's going to Quake me, though, which is terrifying. He's going to go into this. He's going to Protect. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I can Protect next turn. Shadow Ball's going to poke out here. He's going to be able to soak up pretty well, and I think we just proc Policy, right? That's scary. So he's going to Quake again. He's definitely quaking again. And this is going to be so tough for us. I don't know if we got this battle in us. I don't know if we got this battle in us. He's going to quake my Gar. My Gengar's going to drop here. Bye, Gengar. Thanks for coming out here. And now he has one more turn left in Dynamax. And from here, I think we just don't protect and waste it out, right? Special defense is through the roof. How many turns left in that grass terrain? That dang grass terrain will be dirty. Do me so dirty. Do me so dirty. Ice Cream's going to fly here. It's going to block. I have to double protect now. I have to double protect. Mm, tough, 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 yo. It's coming down to the wire. It is going to come down to the wire. We're going to bring out Rayquaza here. And I do have Focus Ash, so I think at this point I just protect the Kyogre, right? And just drag in the scent and try to take out that uh, Rillaboom. That could be a big turn for us, because I do have Focus Ash, and he has no idea uh, that I have it. He has no idea that I have it. So I think Dragon the Scent is going to be our play here. Yeah, I'm going to Dragon the Scent, try to take out you, and I'm just going to protect the Kyogre. That's my plan all day. That's my plan all day. Because one Pokemon has to be going after my Kyogre at this point, right? One Pokemon has to be going after my Kyogre. Just one of them. That's all I need. Grass Guide into me. Cool. Cool. We Grass Guides. I block it. We should be able to get rid of Robin. No problem here. I go next Dragon Ascent. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Ray Ray coming in hot. Ray Ray coming in hot. Take him out. Get him on out of here. That's a beautiful turn for us. Our defense is going to drop. We still have Focus Ash, which is huge. And it turns into like a 3v1, which is still kind of tough. We do outspeed him a lot, which is great, but he is boosted on that special defense. Steel Spike's gonna fly, and now he's boosted on defense. Ouch, dude. I do have Sucker Punch ready to roll with my, uh, with my hit on top, which is great. Really good. We hang on with Focus Ash. He's gonna boost his stats like crazy. It's terrifying. And the rain stops. Come on, man. We needed the rain. The rain was our boy. The rain was our boy. Okay, uh, what's the player? What's the play? Because Rayquaza is really not going to do too, too much here. I mean, we might as well just start Dragon Scenting, right? Like our only option. <laughs> we could start Swords Dancing, but... What do we do? Dragon Scent's going to be your best bet. We might as well try to chip up as much damage as we possibly can. Go into that and go into an Orange Pulse. That's our play. That is our play. We do need to get out him on top. We do need to get out him on top. Him on top could clutch it up for us. He's just a dog, dude. Him on top's a dog. This one's going to be super close because I feel like this guy still has the upper hand with all of his defense boost. Dragon Ascent's going to fly. Not going to do too much damage here. He's plus one, but still. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. We drop that. Our defense is going to drop down. We don't really care about it. We're on one HP. We are on one HP. And Psychic Fang's going to fly. Can we eat that? No, we cannot. No shot. Okay. 
So now we're sitting here. And I think our play is... Yeah, see, Rock and Protect. We have to go into, obviously, you know, Fake Out into Dragon Ascent. And then we can just start Sucker Punching, right? Sucker Punch gotta be our play. Sucker Punch gotta be our play. Well, he knows we're rocking it. He knows we're rocking it. He's full Metal Body, so Intimidate's not gonna affect him. I could Sword... Oh, I could Sword Dance here. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I am going to Sword Dance, and I'm just gonna Fake Out. Just so my next Dragon Ascent can do some big old damage. He's gonna Protect. That's totally fine. That's really fun. Good sword stance for us. Good sword stance for us. Now we're posted threat. So now I can sucker punch and go into a uh, dragon ascent. Big, 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 big turns from jeans. Big turns from jeans. Yo, I knew this battle was gonna be close. Right after rip, we had a strong start, but I just had, like once this whole gallery came out here and started boosting his stats, I was like, dude, this one's gonna be a lot tougher. A lot tougher than I thought it was. But we're gonna gain some HP here. We are dude, we're plus two on it on on uh on our Rayquaza, who should be able to do a decent amount more damage than it did last time. So Dragon Sense can come out here. Sucker Punch is going to fly. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We know Rayquaza is faster. Him on top might not be faster than Solgaleo, but still, we got Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch going to chip up some damage. Dragon Ascent coming hot. Dragon Ascent coming hot. This might KO. If not, I think we're still thriving here. I think we're still thriving here because he has no double hitting moves. Bang, yo. Swords Dance clutching up. We get a crit. RNG helping us out. Maybe a little bit, but I think we had the win regardless. But there it is, yo. Perfect record for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A banger of a video and a perfect record for you guys. Got to roll out with that Kyogre. Got to roll out with that Rayquaza. And got to roll out with Gengar and show his team to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.